Hey guys, and welcome back to Minecraft. We're gonna be doing something a little bit different today. So we're here in our tutorial world that we've been working with, and I wanna do a little bit of a let's build concept idea, something or another here. So in the comments a while ago, um, somebody recommended that we look into doing some TPs or something like that for like a Native American style build almost on our Building with Web series. So I wanted to actually like come in here and make a bit of like a concept for it and just kind of do a let's build with you guys here. So we're gonna go ahead and do this and pretty much what I wanna go and do is create a pretty tall TP here out of this shape. And I think we can I think we can get away with doing it with just the blocks we have. So we can bring that up three and bring you up three, but I kinda wanna get use, I wanna be using concrete for this because I, I know it'd be normally wool would make more sense but I want to do something a little bit different and get a little bit more of those bold concrete colors in here. It's more vibrant. It's a lot more fun, I think. And so I think we can make something very cool out of it. So TPs, if you guys don't know, are Native American structures that are held up by four wood beams pretty much that go up and cross in the middle. So we got to pretty much figure out how we want to go ahead and do that right here. And I'm thinking this next little section, we bring it in and make it a little bit shorter here. So we can go ahead and do something like bam, 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 right like that. And that brings it all together here. And we can't really make it look totally crossed together. Oops, sorry, my camera's spinning around like crazy right there. So we can go ahead and do something like that. And I'm thinking from there, we can go ahead and bring some fences up and make it a little bit more pointy. Three might be too much, maybe two like that. I think that's a pretty decent shape for what we can get going on here with a TP. So the problem is I wanted to have the entrance right here, but I don't think we're gonna go for that. I think we're gonna do a diagonal entrance, something right in there. So let's go ahead and bring this site up here real quick for what we can do. It's pretty much just counting up three at the same time. I think that's gonna be a good shape, but we're gonna go with it. If it doesn't work out, we can always try another TP later in the future, but I really just wanna get a concept idea here together. Try something different for the tutorials. So I don't know, if you guys enjoy the style, you'll have to let me know. It's gonna be something a little bit interesting here. So pretty much what I wanna do is we gotta make this look natural more or less as it goes up. And it's all gonna come up and end about at that point. So we can go ahead and do something like that. Bam, 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 right there. Then maybe something there. And we wanna make this look like the cloth canvas almost is like flowing. And I wanna alternate around this area between having orange and white, just because I feel like it'd look pretty cool with those colors in here. So we do something like that on every single side. So I think this guy right here is probably gonna be the toughest. So for now, let's just go ahead and make it look like that for now. We can come back and finish that one up. I'm thinking that, bam, bam, bam. Maybe we bring you all the way out right there. We do that, like there. Then that guy can come up. That's a little too pointy. I'm thinking we come up all the way here, bring that guy all the way up, and this can go, how weird would it look if it, it would look pretty weird if it went all the way up there. So let's go and do something like that. And we can do bam, bam, and bam, bam. Yeah, that's not bad. That's a good shape to it right there, I think. So after we finish this, we're gonna go ahead and do a little awning on the front, I'm thinking, just to get a little bit more shape and size to it. So it's not just this perfect circular, not even perfect, but the circular shape. We don't really want that in our build right here. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of mix things up as we go. And would it look better like that? No, nope, let's try that. Let's try that. No, that's too short. Um, what if we did you down? And then that's, yeah, let's go with that. That looks fine to me. So now, I wanna go ahead and mix in a lot of this orange and kinda of get some cool colors in here going on. We might even try some yellow too. I'm gonna to make it very blotty and not really having a specific shape to it or rhyme or reason for why the colors are in here. I mostly just wanted to mess with it and see what we could come up with. And sorry, I don't know what's up with the camera today. Do you guys get that at all? Where Minecraft randomly, the camera, if you're in creative mode, starts just spazzing out like crazy. It's only started happening to me since 1.12 and I really, don't know what I can do to fix it, but we're gonna just do that on the front side right there. But it's really random. Sometimes when I boot up creative, it's there. And then if I go from creative mode into survival mode or something like that, if I'm flying around for like, say a screenshot in our building with whip world, then like sometimes that spazzes it out too. And I have to fully like hard reboot the game for it to get in there. So I don't really know what's going on with that, but that looks, is there enough white in there? 
Yeah, I think that's good. But yeah, so we're gonna keep going around doing these random color patterns like we got going here. And I'm really hoping it's gonna help bring this build to life a bit more. I know this is very vibrant, but I really wanted an excuse to mess around with concrete a bunch. So that's why it's gonna be so vibrantly colored. And I think it's gonna give us a really, really cool look to it. Cause we can go in here at some points and use like some like fences maybe to hold it up, kind of supporting the structure, bringing it out where it might be caving in a little bit. And just little bits like that, just helping to really bring the whole thing together. Anyways, now we're on this point. And so what I wanna have is we're gonna have the entrance being like right in that area, correct? But what I wanna do is actually bring this guy out a little bit right here. And we're gonna go ahead and make a bit of an awning. We have the quartz stairs and slab in our inventory right now. And we're gonna try and utilize that to almost make this diagonal little awning area. Maybe we bring it out this far. So what I wanted to do was basically have something like that, but I think this might be coming out a little bit too far. Yeah, that's gonna be one too far. Let's go ahead and bring that in, bring it under control a little bit more, because I think that'd be over-exaggerating it for the amount of size we have here in our TP area. So we can go ahead and do some concrete here. I only wanna use these quartz things where we absolutely need to, if that makes sense. So maybe something right there to smooth that out, but maybe we actually go ahead and do a stair there. And so we have this little entrance into there. I think that could actually work out really well. So we have this little diagonal entrance and then we can use even like wood trap doors right here to help bring a more of a wooden structure to it to help hold it up. I think that could work out really well. I almost want to be able to put it like that instead but I wish I could have both, but I can't. So we're gonna deal with it and it'll be okay. So what we can do here is like on these to support them a little bit more, maybe bring those guys out. I think that could look pretty nice. And we gotta figure out some way of bringing a lot of this together a bit more. I'm thinking on all these little bits above the stairs, we should probably go ahead and do this as well to try and make it look a little bit more rounded and out from the uh, concrete we have here because it gives that little bit of a lip to it right there where that's a flat face we bring that out it adds a little bit more depth to it and I think it could really help us out here so we got all that cool stuff going up and we could bring these all the way up here to the top as well and now let's not do it right there I'm actually thinking we might want to go ahead and do that and then that just to give a little bit more height to it but we got a cool little TP structure going on here I actually really like this I think this is pretty awesome looking so now we got our inside which is a little bit weird. But what we could try here is say like we grab some uh, white banner and an orange banner and we go ahead and do something like you and you maybe? Yeah, we could get away with that. Yeah, I think that works pretty well. So I know we have that little bit hanging right there, but I'm oh, I'm actually pretty okay with that being kind of there, showing like, cause it is attached kind of to that little guy. So it could be like what you push to get in. I know it's kind of messing with the camera as we're walking through it, but that's the only way I can really think of doing like a little entrance to it or something. But yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, do they normally have little fires in the teepees? Like would there be a fire in here? I think there might in some of them. Yeah, cause like, the elders and whatnot, you always see those like smoke circles around the teepees and everything or inside the teepee. Um, so we actually do need some way for smoke to get out up here. So what if we went ahead, how can we do that? No, that doesn't work. What if we went ahead and on that little guy right there, we actually turn this into a bit of a smoke area, an area where smoke could come out from, if that makes sense. So what we would need to do for that is potentially, I'm thinking we might be able to get away was just doing something like this and make make up that like, yeah, smoke is going through there. Oh, sorry, the camera again, crazy. I don't know what's going on. We could do something like that or we could go ahead and bring in say like in here we have a fence and then on these little bits, we go ahead and grab, that's birch. We want the oak, we grab the oak fence gate and bring that connecting it into all these guys and then from here, we go ahead and do a little trap dory structure like that. And that actually adds some extra height to the TP itself there again. But that is a little weird looking from the inside. 
what if we came in here again? I know it would really cover it up, but we do something like that just to make it more attached to the structure itself. And because we need to have some way for it to look like it's really, really connected in here. But I think that's a little, I don't know. That might be a little too much. What if we came in and instead of doing it on four sides, we only had it on two sides. So we do something like that. So it still has those sticky outy bits. That's actually not that bad. And then from here, we want to go ahead and probably bring that up one more. No, three is still too tall. We're just, we're leaving it at two. No, no more changing it, Whip. No more changing. All right, so now we got this in here. I want to come back in with some orange concrete though and maybe mix this in here a little bit because this white area in the front is going to be so strong with it being all quartz or all quartz that we can work with for the actual shaping of it. But I think that's a pretty cool little concept we got going here for a teepee. And then we can come in on the inside. And first of all, I know fire tech is turned off in this world, so we can grab some nether rack and we can go ahead and grab i'm trying to make this as survival friendly as possible if that makes sense so we're going to go ahead and do this we're going to do bam and bam and we don't really have beds or anything that look like they'd be a sleeping bag so we're kind of stuck with doing something like i don't know maybe like the brown beds or something so we could have some like beds over here where people are laying down just kind of in the corner because i know they wouldn't have actual beds because they're nomads so it doesn't really make sense to carry around a whole wooden structure for a bed but they would still have something. They would definitely still have something. They probably wouldn't have like crates or anything, but we don't really have anything that could show like a, like a sack that somebody could hold. Um, so let's just go ahead and do like some note blocky crate things in here. We can do some more chests around the outside. Maybe like another guy right there. I know, actually that can't even be open, so what's the point? Um, if we're trying to make it survival friendly, I know that guy can't before anybody tells me that in the comments, but yeah. So we got all this area in here that we can work with and kind of detail the insides out of. But I think it's going to be a lot of just kind of throwing in trap doors here to make this wood look like it's coming out a little bit more and making it a little bit more, like, more depth. More depth. That's the word I'm looking for. Just having a little bit more depth to this guy so it could be something more that we can mess around with. And in here, I know it would be technically if they, like they just set up the teepee, you would be sleeping on grass. But for the sake of this being um, a Minecraft build, and I don't want it to look the same as it does on the outside, we are actually going to come in here with some of these good little coarse dirt bits and fill in this whole inside area with coarse dirt. I know it's probably a little loud for you guys, but... That's okay. I don't know what it is with the dirt sound, but it's so loud when you place it down. So we got something like that, and we could probably go ahead, because no grass can grow in here, just to smooth it out a little bit more, make it a little bit more interesting. We add some regular dirt back into it, something like that, bam, 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 right there. And we, so we got this nice little area now. Now we can come in and use probably some spruce, because we, we used oak so much. Actually, we're going to go with acacia to get that little bit of a red look to it. Because we used acacia, or we used oak so much in this guy, so I don't want to use those for this chairs and everything. So we're going to go ahead and do something like that. Another little one like right there maybe. Another guy right there. So you can just throw little signs on the backs of them. Just make them look like they're... God, this camera is bugging the crap out of me. It's like super, super sensitive. I don't know what's up with it. But yeah, so something like that maybe? I don't know. I think it. I think it looks pretty cool. Obviously, we can do some more things out here as we want. Maybe just like extend the path out there a little bit, and we can go ahead and grab a shovel and do like some grass path blocks. I don't really know. Something like this. But the core structure, I think, is good with this guy. I think that's something that we can really, really utilize. What we could do outside of it, though, if we wanted to attach something to these, maybe is go ahead and grab, let's grab, just to have a little bit of darker wood, let's go ahead and grab some spruce fences and maybe we can attach those out to here and there could be like a little corral area where they would have a horse. I don't know, because the Native Americans often like rode horses, that was kind of their thing. They were, <laughs> that's how they would travel, there was no other option really back then. So we can have like a little corral area here and maybe, I don't know, where we, where we got some horse horse 
Zombie horse, skeleton horse, nope, we just want a regular horse. Maybe we got some horses in there. Then they could have some hay bales, which we could go ahead and just stack up right here so they could have their food. I feel like a lot of what they would actually do is not really keeping it, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I feel like they wouldn't use hay bales to feed their animals. I feel like they'd be out grazing, but for the sake of it being Minecraft, and I don't want the horses to run away like crazy. We're gonna do that little guy right there. And I'm thinking maybe, what if we tried like patching up some areas like that? So where like there was a rip in the tent or something and they needed to reinforce it, reinforce it a little bit. Like we have the wood here, just trying to bring more wood into this, um, just to make it a little bit more interesting. So we can do something like that and those horses are gonna get out so quickly and I completely regret that decision because there's gonna be horses that, yep. How you liking the teepee, bud? <laughs> oh gosh, I'm gonna have to get rid of these later. Yeah, so I'm thinking something like that could actually be a pretty solid idea of how we could reinforce this guy a little bit. We actually didn't bring any fences or anything out onto this front one as we were working on it. So I'm thinking we go ahead and do something a little bit like that. But yeah, guys, I think that's gonna do it for today's video. I really like this little teepee concept. If you guys are interested in this and wanna see more on this style, we can make up some more designs, different shaped tents, different shaped things. Let me know all those horses. <laughs> <laughs> Literally every horse, 10 seconds later, is already out of the corral. But anyways, guys, leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you loved it. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about this thing. And I will see you guys in the next episode. See ya.